Hi everybody, Fox Nomad here and today I want to help you travel smarter by showing you how you can get to Sumerian Monastery right up there in the mountains here in Trabzon, Turkey. It's been quite a hike to get up here but I'm going to tell you how to get here from the city center or wherever in Turkey or around the world you may happen to be, how you can get here and go visit right up there. Along Turkey's Black Sea coast, an hour's drive from the city of Trabzon is the Greek Orthodox Monastery of the Virgin Mary, locally known as Sumida. It's estimated to be over 1,000 years old, but what's known for sure is that it is 1,200 meters up in the mountains. Overlooking the Altındere Valley, Sumida is one of Turkey's most spectacular tourist destinations. There are a few ways to get to Sumida and a lot of walking involved. Here's everything you need to know about visiting Sumida yourself. All right, so now that I made it a little bit up the way, I'm not quite in the monastery yet, which is there. And on the other side, it's just hanging off a cliff, show you what it looks like. But I just want to give you a couple of ways you can actually get here. So the first place to start is in Trabzon. So that's the city where you'll be based in. It's in the Black Sea coast in northern Turkey. And there are a couple of ways you can get here. The first way is to take a series of minibuses. So if you've ever taken the Turkish Dolmuş, you can take one from Trabzon to Machka, then you'll switch buses there and then you'll come up to here to Sumera. That can be a little bit tricky if you're not used to the system and if you don't speak the language, that can be a little bit tricky. It's more of the more adventurous way to get here. You can also take a taxi, which is a more expensive way to get here. But the disadvantage of that is the taxi is not gonna wait for you up here in the parking area and getting one to come back to get you is probably not gonna happen. So you have two other options. One is you can hire your own car and most of the hotels are gonna offer that as a service. That's gonna cost around $100 to get you here. The drive is about 45 minutes to an hour, even though it's only about 22 kilometers or about 13 miles away from the city center, it's gonna cost you about $100 to have a driver to bring you here. But there is an option which is kind of the best of both worlds. So most hotels are gonna be arranging tours to get here and the tour is essentially just a bus or a van that will bring five to 10 people up here to Sumire. And that's gonna cost you around $20, which is a pretty good rate. You'll have a guide with you, but once they bring you here, they'll explain how everything works. You're kind of left alone to do whatever you want, which is nice. So if you don't want the hands-on experience with the guide, then you don't need that and you can not use it. Or if you have a lot of questions, you can ask the guide, they'll be able to help you. So you get that best of both worlds. And a lot of times you'll have the van not completely full. So you'll have a lot of space to switch from window to window so you can watch all the beautiful mountain scenery coming up here because it is just absolutely gorgeous around here. There are mountains with all these green lush trees everywhere. The walk is spectacular. It's absolutely a beautiful drive. So it's nice to take the van. And then once you get here, you get dropped off at the bottom. And then there are vans that take people up and they take people down. So that's gonna cost you about a dollar and a half. So just make sure that you have cash with you before you get here. Then that minibus here at the base is gonna take you all the way up. There are bathrooms at the base. There are bathrooms when you get up here, but that bus is gonna take you up. And then you have to walk about 350 meters. And then you walk and then you keep walking and then you keep walking and eventually you will get right up here to the entrance where you buy your ticket. Now it's going to cost about $10 roughly to get in. If you're a Turkish citizen, you can use your music card to get in, which is a little bit discounted to get into Sumera and then you're all set to go. Now I would say it is a pretty warm day. Make sure that you wear good walking shoes. And if you are not a strong walker, if you're a slow walker, make sure that you account for the time it's gonna take you to get all the way up here. And it's not too far of a walk, about 10 minutes just going straight up and you're gonna climb a couple hundred meters, sweaty, and you get here. So now that we've gotten here, I've told you how to get here, how much it costs and all of that, and I've got my ticket, let's take a look inside. Sumerah comes from a Greek origin word meaning black mountains and is dedicated to Mary, the mother of Jesus. Although these days it serves mostly as a touristic site, once a year on August 15, a Greek Orthodox service is held at Sumina, though attendance requires special permission from the Ecumenical Orthodox Patriarchate. You can see just how steep this walk is, there's a lot of stairs, but the views are really beautiful. You can also hear the river down there. It's really worth it, even though you're going to be a little bit out of breath as you walk up these stairs. 
and if you look all the way over there there you can kind of see the road which brought everybody in so you can see how far you've actually come up with the car and then take a look at the uh, walk all the way down you can hear people huffing and puffing it's a it's a lot of stairs so i just wanted to show you that so we've got going <laughs> <Can't get Hi>. <laughs> <laughs> all right so what's kind of crazy is there's a little library that's hidden away here and i was just filming the stairs but you can come in here and there's a little library let's see what the views you can get from outside yeah so i'm really glad i found this little hidden hidden libraries it's like a little nook here and nobody's seen this place so there's a lot of little parts that you can explore so when you're walking down the stairs if you're tired you just want a little room to yourself there is the library that you can just sneak into all right so you can see a lot of that beauty just right behind me i will say that between about 11 and 11 30 as it gets uh, Close to noon, the school groups arrive and it gets really crowded. So the amount of crowds has almost tripled since I've been filming here in the last half an hour. So it's a good time to go inside and see what you can see before all the crowds come here and uh, make it a little bit more difficult to move around. There are all these little like nooks and crannies here. It's like kind of a hide and seek jungle gym for adults. It's pretty cool. And you can just see those beautiful frescoes behind me. This is really one of the high points of walking around Sumera is are these frescoes which are all around on the ceiling, on the walls. And although it is crowded and the crowds have arrived now, it's not overwhelming. There's still plenty of space to film your YouTube video or to take pictures or to walk around, all kinds of stuff. And it's just really amazing that this was built right into the rock face. Just wandering around here makes you amazed and also wonder at the same time, how did people without the use of modern technology build this right into the rock face? It is absolutely fascinating that this is here and that you can see it and it's just amazing to see with your own eyes. And now you can see the clouds rolling over from the mountains. It's really absolutely beautiful. If you're wondering about how much time it will take when you're here, the shuttles usually leave Trabzon Center about 10 or 10.30. It's about 45 minute drive to get here. And once you're inside, you can spend up to two hours, but I think two hours is probably gonna be on the longer side. Probably a solid hour and a half is about all the time you need to get all the pictures, to walk around, to take a break. And it really is a beautiful part of Turkey to visit, a part of Turkey that's not as frequented as Istanbul or Cappadocia or the Aegean coast. Definitely a place that you should see. Hopefully this encourages you to come here and visit. And if you didn't know about it, maybe it gives you some travel ideas for a next trip. So that was pretty incredible. And if I'll say anything, hearing people breathing up and down there was like an anti-smoking commercial. So you should probably quit smoking if you're going to come here. Either way, I hope this video shows you and helps you get to Sumera near Trabzon. But if you have any questions about actually getting here or any of the logistics, feel free to let me know down in the comments below. And while you're down there, hit the like and subscribe buttons. I'll have new videos for you every week. I've got more videos coming up from Northern Turkey and around the world. So hitting the subscribe button, make sure you don't miss any of those. And I'll see you in the next video. All right, and on the way down as a bonus, there's actually a little church just on the way as you walk down from Sumera and you come down, there's a, there's a church. So let me, uh, let me show you that for hanging around this late in the video. There's the church and a look around it. Yeah, a lot to, lot to see and do. Thanks for watching.